Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm gonna talk about how to fix your high memory or CPU RAM usage on your Windows is having an issue or when we are trying to use it you end up in these kind of issue and how we can fix this app. So let me directly get into this step. So the first one is all about we have to go over here search for the task manager right now and we have to click on this one. Right now in the task manager, if you expand this, you can see these are some of the applications which is running in the background as well as over here. And right now, based on your CPU preferences, you can see these apps are utilizing the CPU with these much percentage on your system. So right now over here, as you can see, the obvious which I'm using right now for the recording is using around 7.3 percentage of the CPU. And even if you scroll down, you can see there are a lot of app as well. So what you need to do is the first and foremost, whenever you are trying to fix the issue with the high memory CPU RAM usage on your Windows, all is all about you have to clear or remove the remove the apps which are using high CPU based over here right now. So right now what I need to do is if I'm using as you can see some of these apps which I'm using right now currently that is Google Chrome, OBS and even the task sound recording and all these things are utilizing a high usage of CPU compared to these. So if you find any applications with high usage of CPU, you have to remove it. For example, imagine the Discord is with a high CPU, if that is the case, right click on this one and go for end the task. Similarly, if the Epic Games launcher is running with a high usage of CPU, you have to remove it as well. So do this for all these apps and you have to remove everything. Once everything is successfully removed, we just need to close this up and we have to go back and move to the next step. Next step is all about, we just need to go over here, search for the run over here like this and click on the run command and you have to go over here. And right now what we need to do is we just need to remove this particular application over here and we need to type msconfig. We have to type msconfig and you have to press OK. So that will take you to this and go over here in the services and what we need to do is just go over here, hide all Microsoft services and we need to go for disable all. And once you're done, just go for apply and go for OK. They're going to ask you for restart. So what we need to do is you have to exit the restart. You should not be doing the restart because right now we are over here. So do not be doing the restart. And once after the restart is done, what we need to do is we just need to do like this once again. We have to go over here, click on this one. And right now we need to make one change. Just go over here in the startup and click on open task manager. And right now what we need to do is as you can see, these are some of the applications which is running in the background whenever we are trying to launch a system. So some of these are will be getting like you know the discord might be popping up or any other things might be popping up so this is some of the reasons so what we need to do is from here you need to disable the unwanted things for example i have to say this any desk is not needed it is enabled right now i have to disable it and similarly i have to go over here check with anything for example the right client services steam terminal update and all those things the discord is not needed so i have to disable it so disable all these unwanted things from the application should be disabled from here so that in the startup apps it will not be running which will be saving up the issue with the high cpu usage and ramp on your system next step is all about what we need to do is after trying this we just need to go over here we need to search for deep over here like this we have to click on defragment and optimize devices and right now we need to select c because i have to focus on c right now and go for optimize so this is going to take a little bit of time so it is going to actually it is going to work in a lot of way it is going to improvise in all the way up and once it is done you can also similarly optimize for this d if you wanted you can optimize it for d and if you wanted it for e as well you can do it as well so what we need to do is it's all about how well it is optimizing and that's going to help you guys to speed up your system and that's what you have to try next up is all about what we need what we need to do is we just need to go over here we need to search for run once again and you have to click on the run and this time instead of the ms config what we need to do is we just need to search for over here what we need to do is we just need to type services over here dot msc and that's what you have to type and that will take you to this and right now from here you have to scroll down and navigate to one thing called sys main so keep scrolling down over here and right now we can see there are many applications over here like this so what we need to do is just need to select this one so right now as you can see right click on this one and go to the properties and as you can see the startup type is being set into automatic so what we need to do is this is actually running so first thing you need to click on stop and once you click on the stop what we need to do is going to take a little bit of time now from here automatic you have to change this to the disable and you have to go for apply so keep this to stop is you have to disable this and you have to make sure the service status is stopped so that's what you have to try so let me uh, do it once again let me set it to running but to you this you watching this video you have to set this to stop and you have to disable it and once it is successfully disabled you have to close this and go back to the next step next step is all about just go over here once again you have to search for the run command and you have to click on this one and over here instead of the services.msc what we need to do is we just need to click on this one over here and we need to type sysdm 
dot cpl that's all you have to try and you have to go for okay now we need to go to the advanced now from here in the advanced you have to navigate to the settings and right now we need to go to the custom so right now these are some of the main issue why this is happening so all you have to do is instead of the first one you can see the animation control element inside the windows animate windows when min minimizing and maximizing animation in the taskbar enable peak fade many things to select it so all you have to do is first one which i'm recommending it you can keep animation in the taskbar and you can enable i mean you can disable all these things and also what we need to do the next one is all about you have to save the taskbar thumbnail for previews and the next one is all about you have to show the shadows and other windows over here and you have to uncheck everything and also the last and the least one is all about we have to set smooth edges for the screen over here and once everything has been set go for apply and go for okay that's what you have to try so these should be done because there are a lot of things which is unwanted things when these things are actually enabled they can't affect your performance so just unclick i have to uncheck everything and you have to check Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to go over here, search for Rigidit. So that is registry editor over here and right now go for yes. So right now you can see before getting to the application or going to the step, you need to take your backup. So just click on the file and go for the export and you have to take the backup and save it in somewhere else. If you feel very confident, you have to save it there. Once afterwards, the first one is all about what we need to do is after the registry editor, you have to go over here in the HK local machine. And right now afterwards, you have to navigate to the system. And right now from here, you have to scroll on and navigate to current control set you have to expand this up and now from here what we need to do is in the control set you have to go over here in the control folder and over here from here you have to scroll down and directly navigate to the session manager so keep scrolling down and navigate to the session manager over here so right now if you go scroll down and navigate to the session manager over here right now you can find the session manager expand this and now from here in the session manager you need to go to memory management so you'll be finding anything called memory management you have to expand this now from here what we need to do is in the memory management you have to click on the perfect matches over here you have to click on this one so right now as you can see we have enabled clear page file should be there so what we need to do is we have to set for the clear page file so if you don't find the clear page file we need to set this up so right now as you can see we have uh, both for enable prefetcher which is not required we should be needing one thing called clear page file which is not here even if i check for the store manager it's not there we need to create one so just create a new one that's called not the key we should not be creating the key we should be creating in the memory management if in the memory management if it's like okay so i got it there is one mistake in the memory management what we need to do is you can see there is an, a uh, key called clear clear page file that is one thing called clear page file so we need to select this one and right click on this you have to right click on this and right now as you can see the value is being set into zero so what we need to do is the value should be changed to one you have to change the value to one and you have to go for okay once it is successfully done the clear page file at shutdown is being changed into one what we need to do is we just need to close this and you have to move to the next step next step is quite important as it is is very important comparing with these so what we need to do is just search for the run and you have to click on this one and instead of this one system.cpl you have to type powered cfg.cpl that's what you have to type and go for okay and right now as you can see instead of it is preferred plan should be in the balance it you have to either keep this on the balance it which is most probably i'm recommending or you can change into power saver so let this keep into the balance set so once it is done we just need to close this and we have to move to the next one that is all about just go over here search for disk cleanup that is going to work for many users as well just click on the disk cleanup go for okay so right now it is going to show you that if you're going to do a complete over here download program files and all those things are there if you're going to recycle completely clean up system file you're going to save around 15.9 mb which i'm not recommending but in some cases for some users this might be 4 gb 5 gb or 6 gb so that is why it is going to help them a lot so even after clean this cleanup is done and these are the steps that's going to help you guys out and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for notification that's it bye bye